Good morning, guys. Welcome to... Look, come here. It's today Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. Welcome yeah. to Tuesday. Gabby's gone on her very first ever class trip and she is so excited. She's gone to watch a hockey game in Ottawa. Yeah, a hockey yeah, game. This tree has been struck by lightning before. Just wait. She has never seen a hockey, been to a hockey game before. She's not into hockey, but she is so excited. She's got like a six hour bus trip, like return bus trip, and she is just excited. She loves school. She has a test today. She loves the test. She said when she sits down to write the test and she knows the answer, she just gets so excited. She just starts writing. And then sometimes she has to, when she goes back and looks through it, she realizes she didn't even read the full question because she was so excited to answer the test. But yeah, that's not me. She just didn't get that for me. All right, show us, Sophie, show us. Oh, well, Dad figured it out. Dad figured it out. All right, so. This tree, we think, has been struck by lightning. Look. So they think it's been struck by lightning. Yeah. Which is kind of scary. Wow, it's black. Can you guys see that? It's black. There's a burn mark up there. Burn marks. Scorch marks. We should show that to Gabby. There's also brown here. Let's see. Like. <laughs> Yeah, some brown there too. All right, well, that's interesting. All right, let's go. Hopefully nobody is near it <laughs> if it ever gets struck again, because that's Gabby's scary. Gabby's car. She yeah, Gabby's cry. car is by it. Yeah, she would cry. Anyway, I'm excited that Gabby is enjoying her school. She loves it. It's been like months now, and, and she still like, is completely like, obsessed like, with it. She loves every single bit about school. What? Storm. That's funny? No, because I walked out here. He was staring at the door. Yeah, there are horses are excited because they think Storm stairs. What if we what if we take them for a walk? They're always on the watch to see if we're coming to take them. I was watching video yesterday I was watching video today of us in this barn in the summer. And it was so pretty and so nice and so fun. And now it's like freezing cold and dark and dreary. Well, good morning, Goosey Goose. Hi. I, oh. <laughs> good morning, Lucy Lou. Lucy Lou. Look at the color of her. Can you guys see it? She's yellow. It's like this really translucent, fluorescent yellow. Where's the goose? That's a good question. The goose follows the horses. Hi. <laughs> Where's the baby? All right, everybody's oh. separated today. Oh, Come here, Lo. Oh, is that her? I saw a goat over there, and I'm like, what the heck? Who's that? It's actually cold out today. Whew. My fingers are cold, and I got gloves on. What happened to you? Did you get lost? Here, open this gate and let her in. She's the one that can fit through this gate. Oh. Come here, baby. Come on. She needs to figure it out a little bit. Come on. Hi. She's like, you got food for me? She hasn't figured out the art. Well, come on. Come on, Lola. Come on. You have to actually climb through. So I want to ask you guys, do you guys think she's polled? So the reason that we wanted to get her is because we thought she was polled. Because every other one of her brothers Lucy's following. had nubs. And it didn't look, and she was young, and it didn't look like there was no evidence of her being, her having, being disbudded. So. It's so weird, she doesn't know how to. So do you see? She kind of does have that egg-shaped head. She got through. We don't know where the other goats are. <laughs> yeah, they're all there. Oh yeah, we just saw them. Let's look. She's like, guys, I can't see. This way. So. I don't know if you guys can see. See, there's like nothing there. And no evidence of like burn mark. But it is hard there. Like, you could tell. Oh, there, look. Is that evidence of a burned? Oh, wait. There's nothing there. Like, absolutely yeah, there is. nothing. There is. Like, it's completely flat. Okay, I can't. 
So I know why the goat, the horses are on the grass. It's because the goats have taken over the, the hay. <laughs> like the skin on top of where her horns would be seems tough. It seems a bit hard. Does that make sense? Oh, I'm actually gonna use one of these lead ropes today that weren't actually lead ropes, but then we made them lead ropes. This is for sure dedication, you guys. It's so warm this morning when I went out and did goats. And then now it's freezing. Woo, and we're going for our walk. Do you know your duck friend is waiting for you, is looking for you? No, Lucy does not. They separate them. sometimes now. It's true, uh-oh. They're grooming each other. They're grooming each other, what? See, the storm's rough. Okay, so this is what I wanted to tell you guys today. Like, quick, distract her. Let's just let that happen. That never happens. Yeah, that never happens. So herd management is like such a big deal. And it's something that I pride myself on. Like I watch the dynamic, I watch her dynamics like crazy. And I see whenever anybody's unhappy. And ever since we moved here, we have Storm in with the girls. And ever since then, our herd has not been happy it's not that they're not happy maybe but they're not peaceful and the reason that they're not peaceful is because storm doesn't give them peace penny is a standoffish kind of horse and yeah we need to fix her blanket she's like i'll come first one to the gate so she likes to just be on her own she just wants to be with the herd but be off on her own do her own thing but storm doesn't understand that and he like chases them and he's impulsive and he's rough and he's like a boy that wants to play. I do not understand that. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. I do not know what that was about. But it almost wouldn't surprise me if she's in heat. But I don't know why she'd be in heat. <laughs> Storm's like, don't watch us. <laughs> but he's standing by her. <laughs> But Gracie's ready. You want to go, Gracie? Don't you try and do anything to my girl. All right. Super cute. Her tail is up and to the side, so I'm guessing. <laughs> and she looks pretty relaxed. And he was grabbing her around the neck, so that's my guess. But anyways, my point is this. Penny's really gone backwards ever since we've she's been in a field with Storm. And I hate that she doesn't feel safe. Or comfortable when she's with me she's pretty calm still but before we got her she was Ooh! what oh the heck that was a bit terrifying oh my god i do not like being in a field when horses are galloping she's in heat i just saw i'm going out this gate we shouldn't do oh, that because that gate's hard to close and the, there's a tractor in the way. That was scary as heck. Was that not scary as heck? <laughs> you were on the other side of the fence. Holy I'm moly. Yeah, it's nice. Hi, babe. We <laughs> were not excited about this storm. Nope. Hurry up before the storm comes. Don't say that. You gotta move your horse, too. Yeah, move my horse. And it's not just... Look who's here. It's everybody. It's not this pony. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so anyways, it's not just Penny that gets upset with Storm and doesn't feel safe. It's all of the horses. So like all of them don't love Storm being in the field with them because he's so reactive, so impulsive. It's not peaceful. All right, so why am I telling you all this? In the past, I've been really good about managing our fields. I got like ripped apart in the past for separating Storm from our horses so that our other horses could be peaceful. And it worked, but Storm was unhappy. All the rest of our horses were like so happy and so like, I can't even tell you. There's videos of Finn and Chino. Before, next to me. Finn and Chino being so happy. But I don't want Storm to be unhappy. But anyways, so what do you guys think? <laughs> do you sacrifice them all for the happiness of one? Or do you sacrifice the happiness of one for the whole herd? That's my question to you guys. That and is our goat pulled? 
All right, Gracie, it's finally your turn. She's like, yes, and calm as heck and cute. There's nothing cuter than a horse running. So cute. She's so excited. I told Gabby yesterday, last night, I said, I took your horse for a spin today. I, I walked him on the road. And she said, did he trot beautifully beside you? And I said, yes, he did. Oh, Woo, it is cold. All right, I'm putting you guys away and we're gonna Trade. walk briskly. <laughs> what? She's like, I'm too cold. Whew. Gracie and I are just flying up here. Do you know, as little as Gracie is, she's faster than Storm. So when she trots beside me, we go a lot faster. But Storm is like so pretty and so smooth. And someone was suggesting that we like Gabby get another horse, which she is, and keep Storm for doing things like flat classes, even like at the next, even at the higher level because he's really good at that. And Gabby's really good at, at making him be good at that. I love that idea. Wait, Willow doesn't want to do this today? No, she's not acting herself with pocket. No matter where she is, she finds us. Is Gracie. It's a habit I've made? Yeah, it's a habit. It's a habit Sophie's made. She was way up in the barnyard. Uh oh, there's a car. We gotta go fix her blanket. Gracie's having her little treat. Hey. Holy crap. Like what the frick? It's a little bugger. Sophie! I almost I died! Not Willow. Good day today. Yeah, Willow is. She's probably coming into heat too because she's. <laughs> she, oh my god. I almost died two times today. Gracie, stop stopping in my way. So she got mad at Gracie. Gracie got spooked. And she did a. That we drop. Were butt to butt. They were butt. Oh my god. Willow almost kicked Gracie, and I'm standing right beside Gracie. I'm lucky, like, I didn't even feel nothing. It was scary, though. Stop running! We're coming! All of a sudden, Storm and Penny just came flying by. One thing I didn't show you guys listen. I fixed, it, they fixed my first aid cabinet. Look at how cute it looks. Gracie, no, get your whore! Gracie! Hey! Oh my goodness. Wait, I need this. I'm proud of me though. So uh, this is her last leg with this blanket because of, your because of my horse okay. because she's unhappy. Well, now she's happy because she's got hormones, mm -hmm. but here, let me help. I'm not in a position where I'm going to, did anyone else just hear a meow? I'm not in a position where I'm going to separate storm because it's cold. I don't want him depressed. Uh, but when we get another horse and we have another boy, then the plan is to have them in different Hold fields. Hold I that. can't, I'm holding this. This is her at home blanket. She's always at home, mom. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, she's on my toe. Willa, wait. Wait. Whoa. Wait. All right, and then there's a little square here. We know you know how to behave. Are you in heat too? Oh, she's not. She, she could be. This. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it into multiple pieces because the family that fixes blankets together with duct tape with duct tape is cheap. <laughs> I need to measure her and get her a new blanket. This is just temporary measures. So when Chino was sick, I created this first aid kit and we had like all the stuff that we needed for him. So much stuff. And 
it used to squeak really bad, but I fixed it. Well, I missed Ellie's birthday. I've been waiting for it and waiting for it and waiting for it because I wanted to post a video, like uh, her one year birthday video, and I didn't do it because I forgot. They're in the house. All right, so anyway, it was her birthday, so Sophie and I are gonna head out and do something. When I get back, I'm going to shoot a one year update on Ellie. We've only had her for nine months. But she's one now. All right, what's happening here? I'm driving us up there. Up to the driveway? Yes. All right. Well, like up to the house. Time to break. The short, long one? No. The sh yeah, the wide one. The one in the middle. The wide one's the break? Yeah, put your foot on. Yes, that's okay. the break. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, no. Wait till I put on my. No, we're just driving to the house. I don't care. Wait. It's, it's not like I'm going to crash in. <gasps> we should prank Gabby that I crashed into her car. Oh, my God, we should. I'm not wearing a seatbelt. But it would be embarrassing to show. I wouldn't be able to she show. She would be bawling. I wouldn't those. be able to show her reaction. She'd be crying her eyes out. She's very attached to her car. <laughs> you have to let a car warm I up. It's warm now. No, it actually takes a few minutes. When you start driving, if you don't wait, it'll be like hard to drive. But anyways, we let Gabby start driving at 13. Yeah, he's like, I don't think you should do this. And all we did was let her drive around our property. So we didn't let her drive on the road or anything like that. So then we started letting Sophie when she was 14. And it's definitely been a very different experience. Right? Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's go. So. Well, one is neutral. No, we're going to go drive. into drive. Yeah, what one's drive? Which one do you think is drive? All the way down. Look at the letters. There's letters on this thing? Oh. I was right. Okay. So we're going to go slow. And you're going to turn. Car. Yeah, you probably don't even have to push on the gas. You can just take your foot off the brake. So the last time we let her drive, the first time we let her drive, it was when the driveway was filled with vehicles and it, it was scary. <laughs> oh, Dad was yelling at me like, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> so who's a better teacher? No, go all the way to the bottom. But why? Why? Why can't you go all the way to the bottom? You're doing a million times better. So she's getting it. The first time was just a crazy time. See, because now I'm scared because Dad yells at me. He I know. He doesn't even talk. He says, stop. Stop! All right, so we are at the store. And we are getting a snack. I'll tell you why in a minute. I am addicted to chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. I'm going to preface this by saying that when I was in my 30s, I was so super healthy. I was a size five. For reference, Gabby's a size four. I, free fat for you. I had three kids, went to the gym every single day. I worked afternoons, or do I work nights? And I went to the gym every morning, and almost every morning, like five days a week. I basically I, go to the gym every day. I ran all the time. You go to the gym every day? Basically. Anyway, we were gluten free. And my family hated it, <laughs> but we are so healthy, such a healthy family. I was, I'm like, anyways, um, so one of the things that I always used to do was that I never bought junk food and brought it into our house so that we wouldn't just eat it. One of my rules was that if we wanted junk food, we had to go to the store and we had to get it. So like, we'd have to make an extra trip. So fast forward all these years and I'm older and I'm not as healthy and I don't go to the gym ever. And today I just was feeling I needed a snack so bad. I got chocolate milk and I got one of these little cakes. I love these. They're to li like a little apple pie. This is a strawberry pie. I love these things so much. What did you get? I got Mike and Ike sour. Mike and Ike sour. So anyway, so today we just needed this little pick me up. <laughs> That's all. Advent calendar time. So Sophie's advent calendar is a makeup calendar. And today, the fifth, she got eyeshadow. Or is it blush? I think it's a blush. Wow, that is adorable. Isn't it cute? Molly's like, is it food? I really want food. Here, let's see, show them. Super cute. It's bright pink, that's not normally what I go for. Yeah, she usually goes for like the light colors. Don't you know that you're beautiful?